Hey folks, this is IOE Thurman back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Mr. Zeus, and he's in the KV2. This is a tier 6 game on Sand River, and, um, oops, sorry, we are platooned up with... If I hit one of the right ones, there we go. We got Juicy Mahu, Juicy Mihu, Juicy... I don't know, Juicy? And so these guys are gonna go and try and win this game. This is a purely tier 6 game, so interesting. Uh, enemy has a KV2 and an Oho, so interesting also. Um, before we get too far into the game, I do want to say I need more replays. If you guys have, a, I mean, if you guys play this game, you've got to get games, you know, that are good at some point, right? So if your hands are shaking, I want to see that game. As like my, my basic rule, the only one that really matters. And of course, don't die halfway through. That that's irritating to watch, <laughs> but other than that, if your hands are shaking, I want to see the game, and so send them to me. You guys should have replays turned on. If you've seen this channel, you've got to be thinking you want to submit a replay at some point. So make sure replays are turned on. When you have a game, you know your hands are shaking after it. Save the replay, drop it on your desktop somewhere, and then upload it to Woot Replays and send me the link. Easy as that. Uh, takes like five minutes, not even. I don't care if there's a description on the link or whatnot. It just needs to get uploaded and then linked to me in the Discord. And easy as pie to do. So do it. Okay? I need replays. Otherwise, you guys are just going to start seeing replays from Alex, the assassin all week, who's been sending me replays constantly. And um, if I don't get some replays from other people, you guys are just going to see a week of him because I could do that. And they would all be awesome replays. And I, d I do want to see them all, but I want to see other people too. <laughs> okay. That's enough of that. Um, enough of staring into the light. Oh, my eyes are starting to hurt. Uh, so aiming forever in this thing. And then does three. <laughs> he set the poor guy on fire and it burns to death. That's awesome. That must have hurt, though. That poor guy. Like, I mean, <laughs> I'd say nobody deserves this, but they're the enemy team. Obviously, they deserve it. Um, oh, yes. Do Well, I mean, I kind of hope the guy with 34 doesn't come around the corner, because that's not who I want to see us shoot. And uh, don't forget, there will be a bonus clip at the end. And um, if you haven't noticed the fact that I've been doing bonus clips at the end of my videos of late, go back and watch the last several again and, and watch the end. Okay, so the Fort Skoda apparently has decided it wants to camp base. I don't know why there's a Skoda camping base. That's like the worst place for a Skoda. Yeah, that shot connected all right. Thank you, Mr. 4AT, for backing up and letting us hit that, because otherwise it would have just been annoying to sit up on this ridge line. And, ooh. Mr. T-34A5, do you want to poke your head up, please? Just just come poking up over this ridge line. Yeah, right there, right, yeah, right there. <laughs> nice shot! That was awesome! I enjoyed that. Though I am sorry to headphone users. <laughs> that was brilliant. That poor guy has got to be crying in his spilled milk. <gasps> the side of an oho. Or uh, the, the 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 side of that thing. Oh, I unfortunately the shot did not connect with a with the tank at all. Never mind the side. If it had though, would ha it have gone through? Yes, yes, it does in fact have the ability to penetrate. Situationally, you want to be loading different rounds. However, for just times like this... Oh! If that had been fired just a couple seconds sooner, then... That would have been the <laughs> the shot. <laughs> uh, as that would have definitely taken out 
that VK. It looks like the other side of the map, we've cleaned up the score to 25. Unfortunately, we got picked off by the OI, and I think this is the only thing over here. Um, and really, you should, should just kind of aggress on it. How, oh, he did. And then he bounces. Oh, poor guy. Because he's about to die. Well done. Okay. That, there is only one left. And it's a Hellcat. And apparently the Hellcat was up there. Doesn't necessarily mean he, mean he is right now, though. Right? So, moving around based on where you assume the enemy is is a great great way to get yourself into a trap. However, at lower tiers, I mean, uh, half the time you're going to be going up against people who have no experience in this game, are still on their first week of playing, stuff like that. Oh! Oh, no! The Hellcat is not there. The Hellcat is, in fact, over there at our base. So we're going to speed this up a lot because we know exactly where he is. There's no reason to uh, play around with where he might be or anything like that. Um, and no reason on why we shouldn't hold. Ten seconds left. you got to make the... You have one shot and one shot only. You have to make this count. Five seconds. Four. He is right there. Aim and fire. Wow! <sighs> wow, that was awesome. Well done. Wait, wait, what? What? But we killed everybody. How do you lose after killing everybody? I don't... It must have been a change recently. Because I do remember before, if you killed the entire enemy team, even if they capped out already, you you could still win by killing the entire enemy team. I didn't realize that they had changed that. But apparently, they have at some point. So now, if you, it, you can get capped out kill the entire enemy team and so lose. Wow. I... Wow. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> Holy smokes. Well done. It was a great game. It was well played. It was enjoyable to watch. It just... I'm still like utterly shocked at that ending. Alright? <laughs> wow. Okay, well, um, cool. <laughs> well, enjoy the bonus clip. We'll see you later. This is IOE Throughout. It's not kill stealing, 
it's kills hearing. <laughs>